Here I have Samsung Galaxy S10 Neon, let me show you how to activate this device. So at the very beginning, let's start by using the welcome panel. Here you should choose your desired language, as you can see, this is the full list of available languages that you can use on your device. In my case, let me select English, for instance, from United Kingdom, tab OK. Here you can also use accessibility or emergency calls if you need something. If not, let's simply tap next. You can connect your device to mobile network, but it's not necessary, you can tap next without it. Here let me tap agree to the end user license, the other stuff is optional so let me just skip it, tap next. Here you can also bring your old data by using the wireless method or some USB connector, in my case let me skip it for now, let me have a fresh start without any data. Now you can use the Wi-Fi connection, it's not necessary, you can bypass this. But in my case, let me connect my device to my Wi-Fi. It's always a good idea to have the internet access. Now let's tap next. The phone is looking for any update, so let's wait a few seconds. And the phone is checking info. Here we can sign in into the Google account, so let me do it. You can of course use the skip button and just go next without the Google account. But the Google account enables a few interesting stuff, so let me just connect my device. Alright, tab next. Now it's time to enter the password, so let me do it. Alright, here you can tap go or next. Tab agreed terms of service and privacy policy. The device is getting account information. Here you can use some backup to restore or you can choose don't restore, you can activate your device without any backup. If everything is correct with your date and time configuration, let's choose next. You can protect your device by using face recognition, fingerprint, pattern, pin or password or you can choose not now and do it later in settings. Tab skip anyway. Here you can decide either you would like to enable or disable backup to Google Drive, use location, allow scanning and send usage and diagnostic data. In my case, let me enable all of them. Tab accept. Let me don't review these additional apps and let me tap OK here. The device adding the finishing touches. Let's wait a few seconds. Right here, let me skip the Samsung account, tap skip, tap finish. And as you can see, the home screen just pops up, so basically everything went well. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.